DJs, set your laptop up to win. Your laptop is arguably the most important tool in your DJ toolbox. Without it, you can't use software or manage your music. Unless, of course, you're using CDs or records, but let's be real, you're not. Even if you're somebody who uses a standalone unit or CDJs, you still need a laptop. Now, I've gone over in length about buying the right laptop, making sure that you get the right specs to perform flawlessly. Today, I'm gonna to talk to you about what you should do to make your laptop performance ready and things to stay away from like the plague. Let's get into it. This goes for any DJ that watches this. Whether you have a separate laptop just for DJ use or you use your everyday laptop for your performances, it doesn't matter. Let's talk about what you can do before you even leave your house to have a better performance. We'll call this list the do's. The first thing you should do is turn off automatic updates. If you watched my video on automatic updates, you know they can be a serious headache and you never wanna run an update the day of or the night before an event. If you haven't seen my video on updates, it's right here. Go ahead and pause this video and watch it. Again, you should be turning off automatic updates, but that doesn't mean that you should not be updating your machine. Again, watch my video on updates to find out why you do want to update your machine. Also, stay away from updating drivers, firmware, or your DJ software. Hold off for a day where you can thoroughly test and make sure that everything is good to go. My point is don't make any major changes to your laptop. Avoid the headaches. Save all that for an off day where you can thoroughly test things. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is turn off your automatic update. The next thing you should do is shut down your laptop when you're done preparing for your event. If your laptop is your daily driver, then shut it down before you leave. Simply restarting your laptop will not clear the RAM out of your machine. Only a shutdown can do that. Now, if you Google should you restart or shut down your laptop before an event, you're gonna see a bunch of videos telling you to never do it. The reason why is because they didn't turn off automatic updates. When they shut down the laptop and opened it up at their event, the computer started updating and they didn't know what to do. Oh, shit! If you follow my first point in this video, you will not have that problem. So make sure you shut down your computer, completely turned off. Shut it down. No thanks. It's that way, when you get to your event, you can turn it on, the RAM is clear, it's ready and prepped for you to go. The next thing you wanna do is make sure that you close any programs that you aren't using to DJ. Programs like Spotify or web browsers can open up on computer start, and if you're not actively using them, all they're doing is stealing resources from your DJ software. If you're not too sure what programs are running in the background of your computer, you can always check using the task manager on Windows or the activity monitor on Mac. You can also choose what programs start when your computer starts. All you have to do is go to the startup apps and Windows settings or the login section under the general tab in Mac OS. If it doesn't have to do with your DJ performance or you're not gonna be actively using it, it's not critical for your laptop, stop it from starting when the computer starts. You only wanna have the programs you need running when you're DJing. You wanna conserve those resources for the DJ software. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure to have your power settings set correctly. What I mean by correctly is when your laptop is plugged into the charger, nothing should be going to sleep and nothing should be turned off. For all my Windows users out there, you wanna make sure your power plan is set to high performance. Windows has a tendency to favor battery life over performance sometimes, even when the laptops are plugged in, so you wanna make sure that your power plan is set to high performance. Stay away from any setting that says power saver. This goes for Windows or Mac. You do not wanna save power when you're performing. You want all the power, all the power. Your processor is gonna need all the power it can get to fully function at full speed. So again, when your laptop is plugged in, your power settings should be on the most high performance settings they possibly can be. I also do this on battery. You don't have to, it's a personal preference for me. I just prefer to run my laptop 100% no matter whether it's plugged in or not. I'm on power, baby! Now we're gonna talk about some don'ts. And the first don't I wanna mention is don't leave your Bluetooth on. Turn Bluetooth off. And for the Mac users out there, they're gonna yell at me, well, AirDrop uses Bluetooth. 
What the hell are you airdropping at your events? You should be prepped way ahead of time. All Bluetooth does is potentially cause latency issues, so make sure you turn off Bluetooth. The next don't isn't something you do before an event, but I wanted to mention it. Don't take anybody's external media and plug it into your laptop during your performance. A USB stick, an external hard drive, I don't care. What are you plugging it in for? Do they really want the request that bad? Don't ever do it. For one, there's a chance that your DJ program could freeze trying to read what's on that USB stick. The bigger issue is, there's also a chance your DJ program will completely just crash. If somebody comes up to you with their SoundCloud track and wants to plug their USB in your laptop, tell them no. Another reason for this is you also don't know what's on that external media. It could just be a song, it could be malware, it could be anything. There's no point in risking it. Never take somebody's stuff and plug it into your laptop unless you 100% trust them. The next don't is don't turn on your Wi-Fi. Now this one's tough because some DJs do use streaming services. I don't like using streaming services, but I can admit to you that they are super handy, especially if somebody comes up with a really weird request that you just don't have, there's a chance it's on a streaming service. However, Wi-Fi is known to cause latency issues with your DJ software. So if you're noticing audio dropouts or things aren't working right, try turning your Wi-Fi off. Most optimization guides for DJ software tell you to do this anyway. But since we're in the world of streaming services, I'm not gonna tell you 100% to turn it off all the time because if you use the streaming services, you're gonna need it. So really, this one's completely up to you. And the last little tidbit I'm gonna leave you with is make sure that you're not DJing on battery power. For a Mac, this really isn't a big deal because Macs go full send whether they're on battery or a charger. But if you're using Windows, Windows tends to prioritize battery life over performance which means it's gonna throttle back your processor and you don't want that. Whack. If you have an older laptop with an older battery, the age of your battery also matters. Older batteries will throttle back to compensate for the battery's age. My point, keep your laptop plugged into a power source. You'll avoid all throttling issues, especially if you're a Windows user. Following these steps will ensure that you are performance ready. However, when it comes to optimizing your computer for DJ software, we're just touching the tip of the iceberg. If learning more about optimization is something you want, then comment below and let me know. And as always, if you made it to the end of this video, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching. If you found anything useful, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I've got tons of videos already going over the technology that we use as DJs with a lot more coming down the pipeline. I'm Seth, aka DJ Seth V. This is DJ Tech Tips, and we out.